Business news, Galen Weston about to be replaced as president and CEO of Loblaws. Beginning next year, he will remain in a chair, an executive chair capacity. But we got this big news in a news release from the company, and it's brought in Anise Hidari into the chair in Calgary to take a look at this. Thanks for jumping in there. Anise, interested in your take. Number one, what more do we know about this move at Canada's largest grocery empire? Well, as you mentioned, Galen Weston is going to be stepping down as the president of Loblaws. He's going to be replaced by a Danish retail executive. Um, we just got this news in a press release this morning. Uh, the Danish executive is named Per Bank. He's currently the CEO of Saling Group. It runs more than 1,700 supermarkets in three different countries in Europe. Now, Loblaw is saying they've been planning this move in advance. They've been searching for someone since last year when the COO said he was leaving the company, uh, or before last year, I should say. Now, Galen Weston himself, he's been the president of Loblaw since 2021, but he is staying as the chair of the board, as you mentioned, Heather, and the CEO of the parent company. Now, that's George Weston Limited. So they own Loblaw. They've got holdings in a, in a lot of other companies in Canada. What this means, though, is that there's still a lot of financial ties for, for Galen Weston when it comes to the grocery store. He's not gone from that business, but... Nominally, he will not be the boss of Loblaws, the grocery store that you go to itself. He'll be, I guess, the new boss's boss, which he was in the first place, um, because we are not seeing Galen Weston step aside from his family's company. I will say we don't have a lot of insight from Loblaws yet as to why this is happening. We haven't heard from Galen Weston himself um, at this point. There's a lot going on in the grocery business, but what we have heard from the, all of the grocery stores, not just Loblaws, is that the price increases that Canadians are concerned with, the inflation rates that they're concerned with, they are not the fault of the grocers. Whether that ties into this, we have no idea. It's speculative at this point, but Galen Weston is not getting out of the business of groceries. He's just uh, taking the elevator up to a, a corner, a higher corner office, or at least staying in the one he was in. Heather. And all of this tying in, can we just mention what the, the timeliness of this when we're talking about groceries and grocery prices and, and inflation, uh, food inflation, we got the new inflation numbers in East 9.7 for food and 4.3% overall. Any thoughts on that just before well, you go? I mean, we're seeing inflation numbers go down, of course, compared to some of the eye-popping inflation rates that Canadians have seen, but it doesn't feel much better at the grocery store. Um, you know, Loblaws, Safeway and Sobeys, Metro, Costco, Walmart, all of these major grocery chains in Canada say that they are just passing on cost increases that are coming from across their business, whether it's the food supply itself, the transportation costs, labor costs. So it's really hard to tie what's happening in any sort of boardroom offices to these prices. But certainly it is part of why we're paying maybe a little bit more attention to the executive of one of Canada's biggest grocery store retailers. Okay, Anise, thank you. I know you're going to be reporting on this through the day. Appreciate uh, uh, an initial take with us this morning. Anise Hidari is in Calgary this morning.